Hi everyone. I wanted to give you a tour of uh, my garden. So we're going to start with the greenhouse. So I have some tomatoes here. Uh, I have uh, tomatoes on this side. I planted this uh, cucumber just this morning. Transplanted um, all these cucumbers this morning. This is eggplant. This is pumpkin. I'm waiting for it to warm up a little bit uh, to transplant it outside. I have a few pumpkins outside, but they're not they're not growing that well. This is eggplant. Uh, cilantro. And we have some uh, cilantro growing here. More cucumbers. Uh, a few peppers here. And uh, cucumber, peppers. This is okra. This is something uh, new I'm trying. This is bitter melon. Um, it's one of the vegetables that we grew up uh, with in India. We'll see if that will grow well or not. Have some uh, squash, same thing, zucchini or squash, some peppers in between, some more squash and more peppers. Here, I have uh, some cilantro here. Then this is basil and more cilantro. We're gonna walk outside. Let's see, put some uh, potatoes in this one. Last week, these are uh, pumpkins. Um, it's, these are like two weeks old, but they're not um, uh, doing that well. I think it's still because it's, it's a bit cold. We have a few. Uh, blueberries and uh, honeyberries this is uh, spinach spinach is doing very well uh, I love just coming and uh, pick um, just pick the spinach and yeah it's tasty here have some carrots these are carrots but you can also see there are a lot of weeds in it. I need to weed this one. That's my next project. So onions. More onions. Some more onions. And we have uh, six beds of potatoes here. These are uh, a month old. They're growing well. I'm gonna walk to this side of the garden. planted some um, New Zealand spinach in this one just last week so it's something new I'm trying we'll see how it how they come out there's some carrots in this one here uh, have three beds of uh, strawberries lots of strawberries you can see see that more berries here can't wait maybe in another couple of weeks we'll have lots of strawberries this is garlic from last year more uh, spinach I fertilize this with the uh, kelp uh, kelp um, makes uh, uh, these plants grow very well I'm going to walk to the other side of the garden. This is the back side. That was uh, what I just showed you as a side yard. We have some uh, beets. Planted some corn in this one. We got some beets here. There is basil here. I planted the basil yesterday. Uh, some carrot sprouts you can see lots of them i can thin these out wait for uh, another week 
we have some Brussels sprouts cabbage that's Brussels sprouts this is cauliflower but uh, uh, kelp this morning all this black stuff is kelp these are uh, beets um, these are uh, something new that I'm trying these beets have uh, white leaves instead of the red leaves these are red beets and these are white beets got more uh, strawberries here see <laughs> so many flowers we're gonna have lots of strawberries and more strawberries potatoes potatoes here I'm gonna walk in between <clears throat> potatoes on this side more potatoes this is uh, peas and beans these two beds this is the greenhouse I actually started with I started gardening four years ago and let's see now I'm using this as a storage I started uh, with this small greenhouse and these two beds start with these two and then I saw how <laughs> uh, how good I felt uh, while I was uh, doing gardening and uh, harvesting the crops and uh, kept on expanding started with two raised beds now I have about like 50 raised beds more potatoes here here you have broccoli, cauliflower, cabbage and brussels sprouts this is some rotten kelp I got it from one of my friends um, I'm gonna fertilize uh, uh, the peas, uh, pea uh, beds that have peas and beans and uh, strawberries with this kelp. Uh, I'm gonna conclude the video here. I'll give you a weekly update next week.